Hello Capricorn, I am and I go by the name of Michaela Andromeda. I'm an interpreter of energies and if these messages resonate with you, go ahead and like, share and subscribe to this channel. I will be open for bookings on the week of April 29th, starting the week of April 29th, 2019. So if you want to get your purpose reading, you can go on over to Unicorn Funland after the 29th and everything should be ready for you to book. Um, if you want to get a free card for if you want to get a free reading, come on through to free rapid fire one card readings every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Central Time in the U.S. Also, if you need a quick reading on the fly every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday at 8 p.m. Central Time in the U.S., I go live for five dollar readings, five dollars per card. So come on through whatever you need. I got it. Well, I don't know. Kind of sort of. Anyway, follow me on Instagram. Pinkie Pie Sugar Pop is the handle. Come join the Totally Humble Initiate Saints. But let's see what's going on. A mystery? Is it a mystery? I feel like it's a mystery. For Capricorn, May 2019, Capricorn. No, is it kind of dark in here? I think it's going to rain. Capricorn, May 2019, we'll do Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine for the union and then for money, job, career. Capricorn. Up, 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 up. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Interesting. Um, so we've got this aloneness card. It's the Hermit in traditional decks. And I actually saw that on the bottom of the deck before I started shuffling here. So for Capricorn, it's you guys have been doing a lot of contemplation this past month. And it's feeling like it that's going to be spilling over into this month as well. Okay. Um you're there's there's somebody's going to be learning a lesson about discernment, which is very interesting that it actually came up with this card in particular. Um, this this uh, uh, betrayal and deceptive card, um, you're learning to see through that. Some of you are already pretty good at it, but um, you're learning to to see through those smiling faces learning to see through those liars and learning uh i'm here like picking and choosing your battles um especially when it um comes to your lover i'm feeling like there's been some dating going on you've been doing a lot of dating possibly or um uh, looking for suitors or trying new options in within your marriage um somebody's trying something new in the bedroom possibly for the masculine spirit for the divine masculine the divine masculine sorry guys <laughs> i was trying to get it out i didn't want to bend and snap anyway for the masculine anyway for um for uh divine feminine yes yeah, so it's looking like you might be trying something new possibly something new in the bedroom or something new like date night um but there's there's a sense of change and a sense of um discernment that's needed to be had those of you who who are like trying something new in in the bedroom for for the union spirit for the union pulling for the union trying something new in the bedroom or possibly trying something new in your marriage um you're it's looking like you guys are gonna learn a lot about each other by doing this um and it's gonna be kind of magical but you guys have to be honest with each other you divine feminine have to be honest i'm here and tell me what you want <laughs> like like your lover saying like tell me what you want like like what do you want in bed can we clarify masculine clarify the masculine spirit okay i'm here like what what do you want in in bed what do you want from me like how can i please you how can i pleasure you and some of you might need to go within to like find that out to figure out what you like or to to figure out um um what what you want to feel or what you you want to um like i'm just like like what do you want to feel what do you want to experience i'm hearing it's all about you this month it's all about you and it's all about you being honest First and foremost, with yourself and also being honest with with the one that you love. Yes. Share divine feminine. You can't hide anymore. You can't hide your true feelings anymore. You can't hide your passion anymore because she's coming out. 
this queen, this, this queen of passion, she's coming out and she's wanting to come out even more. It's like, I got my food, I got my light, I got my smile, and I got my sexy red cloak on. So who wants it? Okay. <laughs> who wants it? Who wants to talk? Should this this will emerge somehow. I'm hearing like like conversations. There's been a lot of conversations that have been needed to be had this month throughout all of the signs throughout the whole zodiac. But um, I'm hearing like a, a conversation with friends, possibly a conversation with friends about what's going on in your relationship. Uh, for some of you, this is a general reading, but um, some of you are needing to have a conversation with your divine masculine about what's going on with you, um, maybe about, again, your passions. There's a lot of sexual energy here, Capricorn, a lot of sexual energy, okay? This is the second queen that's come out for you, bravo, okay? Um, but be open in, in sharing, be open to receiving the answer. Be open to receiving the response. Be open to to um, receiving whatever your divine masculine wants to try with you. Um, what's going on with my camera? There it is. Um, yeah, be open to whatever divine masculine wants to try with you or wants to give you. Um, and if you, of course, if you don't like it, then, you know, whatever. Just stop in the middle and be like, okay, let's switch things up. But... I'm not here to give you sexual information or sexual advice or anything like that, but it's feeling heavy. It's feeling like it's been necessary, like you've been wanting it. And um, um, some of you are like, it's looking like in the beginning of the month, this is this aloneness is what's going to be happening. It's going to be a lot of contemplation. It's going to be a lot of, of thinking, a lot of thinking about um, telling the truth to yourself. A lot of thinking about integrity, self-integrity and integrity towards your lover. And then towards the end of the month, this is when um, the goddesses are just going to start coming out. When your your queen is going to start coming out. It's like she needs something. Like I'm here. Is this what happened last month? I'm hearing I need the D. I know this was I said that for Capricorn last month or the month before. I don't remember. But um. Somebody needs the D, <laughs> you know, but um, whatever emotions you're holding on to this month, Divine Feminine, just remember that that's gone, though, though, the way things used to be isn't how it is anymore. I'm, I'm seeing like a lot of things have changed for you over this month, like there, there's some cycle that you're going through and you're still going through it. And it's looking like this month, there's going to be like a mini cycle that you go through pertaining to this, pertaining to holding on to those old feelings. I'm seeing like you getting synchronicities about letting them go, about possibly let, letting a lover go, about possibly um, um, just letting those emotions go like, oh no, we argued and I didn't like the argument, it didn't feel good. Okay, now you can leave it behind. <clears throat> Excuse me, instead of worrying over the three cups that are spilled, there's still something else there. There's still a solid foundation there between you and your lover. There's still the need for emotional expression on your end. It's looking like passionate expression, emotional expression, passionate nurture, emotional nurture. And you may be needing to um, nurture the spirit and the emotions of your lover. There's a lot of giving that, that needs to be done this month, Divine Feminine, a lot of giving, a lot of giving to yourself. Mm -hmm. This is also giving to yourself, seeing through the lies, seeing through your own lies, the lies that you might be telling yourself um, pertaining to your love situation, the, the lies that other people might be telling you. Look, um, looking deeper into um into the paradigm of honesty and the paradigm of integrity, like learning more about that. Like I'm seeing like reading up on integrity, like reading up on um, like philosophy and ethics, not, not necessarily philosophy, but reading up on like ethics and possibly philosophy. OK, 
Okay, but um, that's giving to yourself, giving yourself that knowledge, um, giving yourself that alone time, that within time, and then sharing and giving of yourself to another, especially to your lover. This is interesting how this is coming out. Um, for Divine Masculine, it's looking like Divine Masculine is, is I'm hearing, trying to juggle multiple things, but he he's in the process of learning how to stay present within all of this, this juggling, all this back and forth, hopping from moment to moment. He's learning how to balance that this month. Um, he's learning, he's, oh, wow, interesting. He's learning how to go with the flow this month of May. It's feeling like he's he's trying to flow to you. Like he, I'm, I'm hearing he's trying to understand you, divine feminine. Divine masculine is trying to, is trying to understand his divine feminine. Because there's something that he wants to do with you. There's, there's some battle that you guys have gone through. I said that there was some kind of argument here on this side, possibly. Okay, some kind of deceiving argument. Oh, or was that in another reading? I don't even know. But it's feeling like there's something that you guys have recently come through, like some kind of challenging moment, some kind of tough, challenging moment. Like, I, I don't know why I'm seeing like an argument or some kind of rift or some kind of somebody leaving the house and not coming back for a couple of days or maybe possibly like ghosting that's happened within the months of uh, within like the past few months. Like I'm seeing between February and April, something like this has happened, some kind of ghosting. Um, but he's ready to come back. He's ready to to come back together. Like he's he's learned a lot while he was away from you. See? He's learned a lot while he was away from you. And um, he's learning a lot while he is flowing back to you, while he's coming back to you. So there, there looks like there is some kind of possible lack of trust on the divine feminine side, possibly some kind of lack of trust towards her divine masculine and divine masculine is, is trying to balance it out. Um, possibly whatever lies he told you or whatever, whatever argument or whatever it was that happened, he wants to come back from that. He wants to he wants to gather again. He wants he wants more success. He wants that spiritual achievement, passionate achievement. He wants to come back. It's feeling like this is looking like he's trying to come back in a very healthy way. Okay? He's trying to come back in a spiritual way. He's trying to come back in a very present way. In a very stable way. I for some reason I'm hearing like mental stability. This is the Hierophant traditional decks um and the hierophant does have a sense of of um mental stability especially since he has to be that medium between heaven and earth okay for some reason i'm also seeing like marriage and the these cards the success card is going towards the hierophant going towards marriage so there may be there may be some kind of proposal that he wants to make to divine feminine possibly um and I'm seeing educator again, like he wants to educate you on something. He wants to um, give you information about something that happened between the two of you. So some kind of secret that he wants to reveal to you. Interesting. Um, and so confirming advice for divine masculine is isolation. So um, there's going to be a need for you to not isolate yourself this month. Don't isolate yourself from your divine feminine. And he's looking on my table. He's he's looking at the divine feminine. And this is her clarifying card. So it looks like this on my table. Like he's looking at her holding on to the old stuff, looking at her holding on to possibly that argument or holding on to um, uh, you hurt me. And she's like turning away. And he's like, but wait. Like I'm feeling, I'm feeling like some sorrow. He feels bad. He feels bad about what he's done. And he's trying, he's trying to get your attention. He's trying not to isolate this month. 
I don't know why, like this is, this just feels so powerful to me right now. Like he, he, he wants to say something. He wants to reach out. He wants to reconcile because he knows that he has been deceptive towards you, divine feminine. And he wants to make up for that. That's why he's, he's, he's balancing himself out. He might, I'm seeing like he might have taken on like a second job for you. He's going with the flow. He's he's learning how to be okay with his emotions. All men are on some level. Everybody's different. But he he wants this. He wants to come back stronger than ever. He wants to strengthen you guys' relationship. He wants to strengthen your connection. He wants to take the connection, the marriage, the love to another level. But you have to be open to receiving that divine feminine. And be open to sharing, sharing your passion with him, sharing your true, like emotional, like I'm, I'm seeing like an emotional outburst, like you lied to me and I didn't appreciate it. And you have to you have to be OK with exuding that. And divine masculine, you got to be okay with accepting it. You you have to, because it's looking like it's something that divine masculine did. It's something that divine masculine, like, I fucked up. I cheated. I lied. I stole $200 that was in your piggy bank. I, um, I stole some silver from your mom's house or something like that. Like, it's feeling like in the relationship, though, like somebody cheated or somebody lied. OK, he feels bad about it. And so he's like, I know that I did wrong. And so I want I want you to be able to express yourself, express yourself, express yourself to him, divine feminine. OK, don't hold on to the emotions. Let him out because he's there to listen. OK, he trying to girl, it to get married. Like he's he's trying to get married. He's trying to strengthen the marriage, strengthen the relationship, like bring you guys closer together. So speaking of together, what's going on? Creativity. Somebody wants to have a baby, point blank, period, straight up. Somebody wants to have a baby. Somebody wants to continue to grow. It's looking like you guys are willing to grow together. Like this is the desire. You guys are willing to let the past go. To, to, to leave it all behind and to empower your union by going on a new emotional journey by um, by I, I'm seeing like I want to hold you in my arms. And this is like maybe people who don't usually cuddle like, you know, take it, take it however it resonates. But like, let's do something new emotionally together. OK, let's let's stop <laughs> sleeping in separate rooms like <laughs> Like, let's push, let's push the twin beds together. You know, like that's, that's so old school, but um, that's the symbol that I'm seeing. This is, this is what you guys want to do. And you're, you're meeting in the middle of on it. You want to do something new emotionally together. Okay. And you definitely want to gather. I'm seeing like dancing around the fire. There's some kind of, um, uh, some kind of, physical cycle that you guys are willing to complete with each other. Um, for some reason, I'm seeing moving residences, like um, moving houses, possibly buying a house together, like um, for first, first time moving in together, uh, purchasing an apartment together, purchasing a condo, renting an apartment together, renting a car together, leasing a car together. Like there, you guys, you guys, are, are trying to do some physical stuff together. But there's there's just a few things y'all have to get over. This is all possible in May. Because it's looking like, um, like I'm seeing we are the world. This is what I'm seeing the two of you saying about each other. Like we are the world. Like I am the world to you. You are the world to me and vice versa. Like this is how we feel about each other. We are the world. So let's create our own world. Wow, that's nice. Okay, and so then you got your consciousness card. So this this yields new conversations. 
it's feeling like the arguing is done. It's feeling like the, like I'm seeing like the cold shoulder that you guys have been giving each other. The cold shoulder is done. You guys are ready to talk. Excuse me, you're ready to take your conversation to another level. You're ready, you're finally ready to communicate with each other because you're you're a little more woke. It's looking like whatever has happened between the two of you has woken you up, both of you. It's woken both of you up, especially if you were able to reconcile. Okay, oh, here it is. The waves of change. Thing, things are, are turning in your favor. For some of you, things are turning in your favor. For some of you, there may be some more challenges that you have to deal with. And I mean, that's that's the circle of life. That's the cycle of life, up and down, good and bad. It's all going to be there. Light and dark, it's all going to be there. But um, this, this I'm seeing this is um, a change in the pattern, a change in our pattern, a change in our thought pattern, a change in our creative pattern, a change in our emotional pattern, a change in our physical, god damn it, a change in our physical pattern, new home, new car, a change in our creative pattern, new baby, new resolutions, a change in our emotional pattern, new cuddles, a change in our thought patterns. Let's approach each other in a different way. Let's let's um let's text every day. Every day at 12 o'clock, I'm gonna text you. Just, just to check in on you or, or you text me just to check in on me. Let's just text each other at the same time. It's looking like these changes that you guys are making together are necessary and beautiful and real and they're honest and, and um, um, it's bringing you closer together. This was very important. This integrity, you guys being able to trust each other and especially divine feminine being able to trust divine masculine because you all, it's looking like you almost lost her for some reason. Okay. Angels, what do you have to say? What do you have to say for the union here for, for the love situation with Capricorn? May 2019, a whole stack, seriously. So all the angels just like... <laughs> It's raining angels. Let's see what's going on. For the angels, angel messages, angel messages from May 2019. May 2019, what will you have? The Capricorns, no, you guys got two. Let's see. Clairsentience. Archangel Raguel. Notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. This is um, 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 listening to your actual feelings. So, you know, you got clairaudience, clairvoyance, clairsentience, claircognizance. This is um, going with your feelings, letting your feelings tell you the truth. You know, like clairaudience is hearing, clairsentience is feeling. Okay. Um, so what, whatever, whatever you're feeling in your emotions and possibly even whatever you're feeling in your body, that's the truth. That's where the truth is. There's a lot of truth that needs to be had in your relationships this month, love relationships, familial relationships, friend, friend relationships, work relationships, whatever there's, there's honesty that's needed. And it's looking like you Capricorn, you need that honesty. Because it's feeling like it's it's you've just gone so long without having any kind of clear cut answer, especially since possibly your lover lied to you, possibly or did something. OK, so um, act on those feelings because that's that's the divine guiding you. Listen to it, whatever you feel in your body, like if you start feeling a pain in your shoulder, like that, that means something, whatever it means to you, but it means something. Okay. Also, beloved one. Oh, I love this card. It's so rare that it comes out. It's Archangel Chamuel. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Okay. So whatever, whatever you two have been going through, there's help here. If you, if, if it's not, it's feeling like if you keep going back and forth with this person, 
if it's a back and forth thing with this person, it's probably trying to get you away from that relationship. But if this is like one big thing that happened, like one big lie or you caught him cheating one time and this has never happened before, this per person probably does love you. OK, so call on Archangel Chamuel to help you with your spiritual soulmate relationship, to help you have have some kind of clarity and some kind of discernment about your lover, whether you need to stay or whether you need to go. Money, 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 May 2019, Capricorn, May 2019, job, career, work situation, them ducats, what will you have, Capricorn, no, business opportunities, money, career, wealth, finance, for the month of May 2019, for Capricorn, May 2019, spirit, what will you have, them no, oh. Okay, let's see. Okay, a little bit of a break. There's some trust that's needed. Mm -hmm. There, um, there's some some trust that's need trust in this break. <laughs> trust that you resting on your laurels for a little bit. Trust that that is what you need to do. Hmm. Interesting. I'm hearing in order to take you to the next financial step. I'm seeing like budgeting because this is a four. And so that's stability. Budgeting in the mind, swords. Look over your budget. Look over your books. Make sure everything is straight this month. Ask, ask for help with your finances. Like, I mean, if, if you need if you feel you need to ask for spiritual help, ask for spiritual help. But if not, oh, my God, oh, my God. There's it. I love this picture. That's why I want you to see it. Hmm? No? Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, ask for help. This is just Mother Mary, is what I'm trying to show you. Um, ask for spiritual help if you feel if you feel like you need to do it. I'm like feeling like very there she is, gosh, because it's just such a nice picture. Okay. Ask for ask for etheric help. Ask for angelic help if you if you do need help with that. And she landed right on this Claire Sentience card. Okay, so going with your feelings. So whatever whatever you feel you should do, whatever you feel you should ask about your finances, or whatever you feel you should do about your budget and about your finances, any changes that you need to make in your budget and finances, go with those feelings and get logical um get logical confirmation as well from whatever financial advisor you have or um you know whoever your cousin who's a stockbroker or whatever like um there it's looking like there's some kind of balance that's needed in your budget you need to be you need to be finding some more stability in your budget and you need to get a little bit of help with it okay that queen of wands here nurturer of spirit oh she came out again okay um uh so this is this is nurturing your passions okay so i'm being i'm being drawn towards these sunflowers and um sunflowers are like uh uh earth's natural sundials because they i don't know if any other flowers do this but sunflowers literally follow the sun okay and the sun is fire. The sun is passion. The sun is the source of our energy. And the source of your energy is spirit. And spirit, I said something like this last month. Um, spirit is what moves through you. Spirit is what makes you sing. Spirit is what makes you right spirit is what makes you want to be an actor spirit is what make is is what you see when you are dancing like what people see when you're dancing spirit is your love for for electronics spirit is your love for planting and gardening okay that's passion capricorn you're being advised 
to invest in your passion, to invest in your spirit, to look over your budget and see if you can take that sewing class. Make 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 room in your budget to start taking yoga classes. Make room in your budget to to pay for um, that Reiki certification, whatever it is. This is calling out to you. She she doesn't play. She's one of the um one of the queens. Like I feel like okay, here we go. Whew. Okay. I feel like the queen of swords, the queen of swords is like, no bullshit, nope, nope. But she's right next to her with, with the no bullshit. She, the queen of wands, this, this is like, like, I'm just going to use the hot word. This is fiery, passionate nurture. Nurture your passions. And like, it's kind of scary because she like looking at me. <laughs> like, I mean, you know, not really, but like, I'm gonna let her look at you since this is your car, since this is your reading. Okay. She's like, listen, you have all of this energy for a reason. You have all of these skills and talents for a reason. There, you're not supposed to just be sitting there. You're not supposed to just be sitting on your talent. Show them to the world. Give them to the world. Look at all of this shine. Like I, this card is always shiny. It's just all about like shine and brightness, even in the Osho deck. So exude that. Ex express your passion this month. Do it in a logical way, you know. Get your books together. What else? Oh my God. The love, the love for your passion felt felt right beneath. Thinking and contemplating, thinking and contemplating your budget, contemplating your budget in order to do what you love, in order to allow that money, in order to invest in what you love. Look at that perfect, perfect trickle down. In order to invest in what you love. Look at the, oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so the wheels are turning in your relationship and the wheels are turning in your financial ship. If you can at least start, I'm not saying you're going to be a superstar overnight, maybe some, some people, it happens to some people that way, but if you can in, <laughs> okay, let's just do it. If you can invest in what you love passionately and with purpose, then the wheels will fall in your favor. The wheel will turn in your favor. You will be supported somehow. You will be supported by the all that is. You'll be supported by the universe. I like to see like this card as the universe because there's everything here. It has the whole zodiac here. It has um it's got this this like sphinx type of thing. And there's representation of all the signs here. There's knowledge here. There's a book of knowledge here. There's a sword here. Wings. There's lot lots of knowledge here. Acacia records even. The earth is right here in the middle. Okay, so this is support. You're, you're being guided and supported to work in your passion, to do what you love to do. Okay. And you've got the strength to do it. Um, um, this, is, this is finding some kind of balance between your ego and your spirit. Wow. Finding some kind of balance between your ego and your spirit. Okay. And so she she's like kind of taming him and not even taming him. They're, they, these two are equal. In this card, 
the lion and the maiden are equal. And so in this perfect equality, in this balance, eight, which is four times two, stability. In this balance, oh my God. So the balance of these two is being expressed to the heavens. It's being like channeled to the heavens, channeled to eternity, which will go around in its little figure eight up there and eventually it'll come back down again. That's another cycle and very appropriate that it actually landed on the cycle. It actually landed on the cycle of your relationships, the cycle of your love. Okay, so Capricorn, if you are already kind of working in your purpose, dig a little deeper, dig your heels in and take another step, put it in your budget. This is the time a lot of people are getting these like exact same messages. Put it in your budget. Okay. How can our Cappy friends work their life? Capricorn, for May 2019, how can Capricorn work their life? Any advice, spiritual advice, love advice, financial advice, career advice, what have you, spirit? How can Capricorn work their light this month? How can they shine their light high and bright? Let's see. <laughs> Play. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious. Okay? You, there's... There's a little bit of seriousness in your finances. This is where you get serious. Okay, um, piano lessons are going to cost um, $50 a week. All right, so I put that in the budget and I pay that. That's like literally all the seriousness that you need this month. And then once, once you're in the piano class, then you can just play. You could just play and enjoy yourself. Enjoy whatever it is that you're doing. And so it's like what I'm hearing is when you're enjoying yourself, for some of you, some of you may resonate with this, when you're doing the thing that you love to do, imagine this is you. Imagine that you're swimming in a, in a cup full of champagne. Or, or what, if you don't like champagne, if you don't like drink, you're drinking, you're swimming in a, in a, in a tub full of bubbles or whatever, in a, in a, in a, um, in a hot tub full of bubbles. Take it, take it however you take it, however it resonates for you. But play, play with your purpose, play with your passion, play with your lover, especially if you guys have, have met in the middle somehow especially if you guys have reconciled, you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. You do it every day. Your passion, you do it every day. Even, even if your passion is fashion, <laughs> even if, if, um, if fashion is your passion, even though you're not always sitting down sewing or, or you know, doing whatever else you guys do, creating, actually creating with your hands. You're walking down the street and looking looking at people's um, outfits. I wonder how that was made. Well, it looks like she's got a da-da-da-da stitch. I bet you if I did this and like you're, you're always doing it, whatever your passion may be, you're always doing it. You're already doing it. So it's not it's not about, OK, I have to get this in order and then this, and this, is, this, this has to happen before this and then this has to happen. And then all 10 of these things need to be checked off this list before I can work in my passion. Nope. You're already doing it. You're doing it every single day. This is the only thing you have to think about. This is the only thing you have to think about. Fifty dollars per week. For the class, all right. And then the rest of the time, you're you're already doing it, and you're all, you're already playing. You're already working in your purpose. 
You're already working in your passion in these little tiny subtle ways, Cappy. Okay. Whew. I love you so very much. Capricorn, you got this. Um, this this is a big month for you. And um, last month was a big month for you. And next month will be a big month for you. But you know, and every month from here on out will be a big month for you. Because you are present now. You are here now. You are here now. Okay. Be here. Be right here all the time. This is, this is it. This is all that's happening right now. So be here in it. In it to win it. And you're already doing it. Okay. This is what I have for you, Capricorn, for um, May of 2019. Again, bookings for if you if you need a little help figuring out your purpose, that's what my readings are going to be about, my personal reading. So if you need to book a personal reading about getting deeper in touch with your purpose, go on over to unicornfunlane.com after April 29th, please. Don't try to book any time before then because it, it's just literally not going to work. Um and uh, come through to free rapid fire one card readings every Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Central Time in the U.S., Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, 8 p.m. Central Time in the U.S. I go live for $5 readings, $5 per card. Um, if you like my earrings, this is HC Decor 1111. I was wearing some of her earrings last month, but um, I, I just felt like I needed to put these on. HC Decor 1111. Um, on Instagram, she makes ashtrays, she makes earrings, she can put your your picture or your, your, any picture or logo on some earrings. She also makes coasters as well. Um, and also, if you like my necklace, this is, <laughs> I said in the other video, I said I'm a walking advertisement today. Yeah, I don't mind because these people are really talented. Um, this is Stay Stoned Jewelry. He works with copper a lot, makes copper rings. Um, he makes bracelets, makes necklaces, chokers. He works a lot with crystals and stones. He wraps crystals and stones. He's a cop. I like to call him a copper artist because he makes like these tank tops with copper on him. So go ahead and go check him out. He's, he's really talented. Tell him Michaela sent you and uh, show him some love. Um, and if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Pinkie Pie Sugar Pop. All of these handles are going to be right down below in the description. Um, but other than that, Capricorn, play. Go swimming in your champagne bubble glass, okay? All love and praise to the universe within me and without me. Spirit, continue to guide Capricorn to just be right here in all aspects of their life. I love you so very much, Capricorn, okay? You have a beautiful month, a beautiful, awesome, amazing moment, and I'll see you around. Bye!